Hi, I'm Zach from Argyle High School. This is our project about the watershed and how we can save it. We're proposing to create 10 videos that will focus on solutions to improve the health of the watershed. We'll begin by informing the viewers about what a watershed is and talk about a present problem. Then we'll reveal our solution. The videos are for a younger elementary school audience. The reason we picked the youth is because the youth are the future. They have the potential to save the watershed from its ongoing problems and make a positive impact. We plan to publish these videos via DVDs. We will distribute to all PTA schools in our school division. The videos will feature Argyle students and we will be using our own film crew. We'll be demonstrating each solution so younger kids can actually do them. In future videos, we will be more capable of doing the solutions without adult help. From all of us at Argyle, thank you for your consideration. In today's video, we'll be talking about the watershed, but this time we'll be focusing on what happens in a lake and how does it affect the watershed. But what is a watershed exactly? Well, a watershed is an area of land where all the water that is under it or drains off of it goes into the same place. Watersheds come in all shapes and sizes. They cross country, state, and also national boundaries. Lake Winnipeg is a lake located in Manitoba, Canada. It is also the 10th largest freshwater lake in the world. It is also the 6th largest lake here right in Canada. The only problem is, Lake Winnipeg is suffering from many environmental issues, such as an explosion in the population of algae. This is caused by phosphorus seeping into the lake, therefore not absorbing enough nitrogen. The phosphorus levels are getting to the point where it can be dangerous for human health. So what can we do to fix it? Collect the water from your roof by installing gutters and downspouts. Direct the runoff to plants and trees. Well, you guys are probably wondering, why does this help with pollution? Trees and forests take up a tremendous amount of water for growth there by consuming stormwater. A single mature oak tree can consume over 40,000 gallons of water per year. Woody plants are especially good at consuming nutrients, nitrates, and phosphates. They also contaminate materials such as metals, pesticides, solvents, oils, and hydrocarbons from soil water. These pollutants are either used for growth or they are stored in wood. So just the removal of forests can have an effect on streams in the watershed. 